It is 649, and parents, this is for you. There could be some new regulations when it comes to child car seats. It's all aimed at protecting your children at all angles if you're ever involved in a crash. Getta joins us live with details. And, you know, if you're a parent, you know all about how much we have to change these seats out. And this uh, latest proposal is hoping that uh, the side impacts, the kids will be protected from side impact car crashes. Let's show you some video because uh, this proposal is coming in from the folks at the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. And they want to make sure that the requirement for child car seats will protect kids from death and injury in those side impact crashes. This is because research has shown most kids who die or get badly hurt in car crashes are involved in accidents at intersections, usually at a light or at a stop sign. So that's why they want to upgrade these standards. The agency says the new standards could prevent the death of about five children and injuries to 64 others each year. So uh, that announcement is going to be made later today around 1 o'clock. Back to you guys. All right, Yetta, thank you very much. Appreciate that. I want to talk about car seats this morning. They could get side impact testing for the first time ever, and it could mean manufacturers will need to make upgrades and that parents would have to pay more for these seats. They're already pretty expensive. It's all in the name of safety, though. Yetta is on this story today. Good morning. Hey, good morning. Yeah, they are pretty expensive. Will this mean we have to get more car seats? You know how you have to get those upgrades every now and again? We don't know just yet, but let me show you some video because uh, the folks at the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, they want to make it a requirement for child car seats to protect children from death and injury in side impact crashes. This is because research, I'm going to wait for that to go by. Research has shown most children who die or get badly hurt in car crashes are involved in accidents at intersections, usually they say at lights or stop sign. That's why the government wants to upgrade these standards for child safety seats. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration is going to make the proposal today, right around 1 o'clock, showing a very graphic video that simulates a T-bone crash where the front of a vehicle traveling only 30 miles per hour strikes the side of a small passenger vehicle traveling at 15 miles per hour. Now, this agency says the new standards could prevent uh, deaths of about five kids and injuries to 64 others each year. So it's going to be very impactful if it passes. Back to you.